Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, for most of the country, hunting season is still weeks away. But in South Texas, every year on September 1st, thousands of hunters head to the fields to join friends and family in the annual Look tradition right here, known around here as they opening die. day. Yeah. Hey, you want to just sit right here and shoot? There's a lot of birds up there. It'll probably be fine. You know, dove hunting is such a, a great social sport. And, and opening day of dove season is one of those legendary days that people that hunt look forward to all year long. Here he comes, low and fast. Got it. Smoked him. Good shot. Good shot. You know, opening day of dove season is always kind of the kickoff for me to the whole hunting year. And I, and I always spend it out at the Nooner Ranch. I mean, they've got lots of different fields all all over the stretch, from Hondo out towards Sabinaw to Canipa, And it really allows for some great hunting opportunities. First miss of the year, too, right there. <laughs> there you go, Mike. Here we go. Here we go. Dove season is kind of like a rite of passage. First day of dove season is a really, really big deal. I was a football coach here in Sabinal for a lot of years, and tomorrow's Labor Day. And we have football practice on Labor Day. Well, a lot of times, Labor Day would be the first weekend of dove season like it is right now. <laughs> Who got that one? You can have him. <laughs> We both shot at him. Yeah, I think we both got him, too. I'm going to claim him. But, you know, football practice is tomorrow. All these high school football teams will be having football practice. And the football coaches hate dove season, opening weekend of dove season, because they lose half their kids because they don't want to go dove hunting. It's a lot more fun to be out here shooting doves than sweating on that football field. So, Bunches of them coming. When it comes to the white winged dove, they're unlike you know your morning dove in their habits and the way they fly and the way they dart and the way they move and, and where they spend the majority of their time. You know, the white winged dove is really a very urban bird, for lack of a better word. It likes to, to roost in towns and towns up and down that Highway 90 corridor, San Antonio, Castroville, especially Hondo, uh, Dehanus, Sabinal, all the way to Uvalde. Uh, they are hotbeds for where the white winged dove likes to migrate through to. And there's a reason why. It's because there's been a lot of management done by people like Sammy Nooner to make those areas places, destinations, number one destinations for dove. God dang it, Wade. Got that one down. One for two, that's not bad. I read somewhere years ago where the national average was like four shots for every one bird. So we're a little ahead of the average right now. If you're new to dove hunting, you'll soon find that it is a relatively inexpensive sport to get into. For the most part, all you need is a shotgun, a hunting license, maybe a couple of boxes of herder's shotgun shells, and a little cash for the dailies. Oh, bacon wrapped. Put some cream cheese in there. I love it. Uh oh, Mike got one down over there. Look at Mike. <laughs> He's been out in this country a long time helping the Nooner Ranch. He lives just up from here where we're actually hunting, and these white wings are really a town bird. They they will actually roost in town and then fly out to the various fields to feed. Ah, watch that one there. We'll knock the feathers out of him. You know, these white wings, as I was saying, they really roost a lot of times in your bigger trees in town. And then they'll fly out in the mornings and the evenings to feed in the agricultural grain fields in the area. And this is a big sunflower field. You can see the big sunflowers out there. And they'll irrigate them and farm for them. And, and uh, basically, this is all designed for the bird hunter. Um, and you see these doves will get on top of these flowers, and they'll just feed and pull these seeds out. And they come out in big flocks. And you can see a lot of them streaming in and out of here. And it's a historical opening day in this country. And you'll see just hundreds of hunters line the area around San Antonio, out to Uvalde, even to the east towards Seguin to hunt. But the primary focus of it 
is really the Hondo, Sabinal, Canipa area where, uh, where the Nooner Ranch, led by Sammy Nooner, has built what to me is the most impressive dove hunting operation you're going to find in North America. For information, we encourage you to visit Sammy Nooner's website at NoonerRanch.com. Well, coming up, we've got more white wing hunting from the Nooner Ranch in South Texas. And later, we'll check out some great new gear for the outdoorsmen. Improve your shooting with one easy fix, the Hi-Viz shooting system. It's both affordable and amazingly effective. Find it online at cabelas.com. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. It's opening day of the Texas dove season, and we're in the field with Wade Middleton and Mike Hawks. Oh, he gave me the juke. <laughs> Got him anyway. Opening day is a big tradition around here, and we're going to reach into the Americana Outdoors vault and show you a classic white wing hunt from 2012. This is like going to Argentina, except you're in Texas. Courtesy of the efforts of Sammy Nooner. Dove hunting in Texas is, a, you know, it's, it's steeped in tradition. We have 300 plus thousand hunters shooting in excess of six million birds. You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a big event in Texas. You know, people are uh, look forward to this event all summer long, and it's, the, it's kind of the kickoff of the fall. Another one now for the grill. It is phenomenal right now. With this north wind, this is a challenge to try to shoot these birds coming out of town. Another hour or so, it's going to be great when they're coming into the wind. This has been a good year. It's dry. Birds are concentrated. You're in the right place at the right time. You'll get some good shooting. Now, white wing dove historically were found primarily in Argentina, Mexico, and the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas. It is only within the last 10 years that the population has exploded and their region expanded. Kind of the launching of, of moving of the traditional South Texas, in addition to outside of that area, I should say, uh, it sparked a lot of people believe by some of these habitat changes that occurred in the 80s, loss of brush, some of the citrus groves. A lot of that took place in some hard freezes that it took place in that time period. So these birds have adapted and moved outside of the traditional Lower Rio Grande Valley now, and they're, they're moving from urban area to urban area. And then these urban areas kind of serve as surrogates or nurseries, and birds move out from there. So we're, now we have populations of white winged dove clear into the panhandle of Texas where you know, just five years ago we didn't have uh, anything but morning dove in that area. You know, this whole area, this Highway 90 corridor out of San Antonio coming out west, you know, toward Del Rio is good, but it's got little pockets that are better than others. And right here around Hondo, uh, mostly due to a fellow named Sammy Nooner, you know, is, is one of the premier places because of the, the management that we've done with the dove hunting. We plant the food plots for them, spend lots of time, money, and effort making sure that the doves have a lot to eat and they'll go where the food source is. So. Around here, even though we're in a very severe drought this year, I mean, the whole state, I'm hearing stories about no doves, no doves, no doves. Here we got lots of doves. Don't miss out on the best white wing hunting in North America. Give them a call at 830-931-7256. Coming up, we'll wrap things up in the field and we'll introduce you to some great new toys for the outdoorsmen. Do All Outdoors offers a full line of innovative gear for the hunter and shooter. Check them out online at doalloutdoors.com. Welcome back. We're in the field at Sammy Nooner's Ranch, less than one hour from the Alamo and San Antonio, Texas. This is the epicenter for white wing dove hunting, and you'll find no better location anywhere in North America. Can we shoot the same I think one we again? We shot the same one. Good God. <laughs> well, he's yours. <laughs> I like that. You know, when you're dove hunting, there's, I always got to pay attention to a lot of the state laws that are out there as well as the federal migratory laws. You know, I'm shooting an over and under here, but probably one of the most common tickets that people get is not having their plugs in their shotgun. They bring their automatic, they bring their pump out here, which can hold five shells. Make sure you've got a plug in because you can only have three shells anytime you're hunting a migratory game bird. And I promise you, that game warden's gonna look to see if it goes to four. And if it goes to four, you're gonna get a ticket. Add a couple to the pile right there. If you've never hunted white wings before, be prepared. These birds are like little missiles, and knocking them out of the sky takes practice and maybe some simple technology. 
in, in anything you're doing, you're always looking for advantages when you're hunting. And I've got this high-vis magnetic sight basically on my rib here, and it really allows me to immediately pick up the bead when I throw up my shotgun. And you know, that's when you can acquire your sight picture super fast. It really helps you be able to be a more accurate shooter. And that doesn't matter whether you're using handguns or shotguns out here, wing shooting or your deer hunting. Being able to find your sight to be able to put it on what you're trying to shoot really helps you out. I've got a magnetic uh, mount right here that basically slides over and, and stays on there and it, it really holds firm, stays in place every time and allows me to find that target, find that dove super fast. And now that my eyes are getting old, I need all the help I can get. Here at Americana Outdoors, we're always on the lookout for new gear that'll enhance the outdoor experience. Now, we'll head back to the field for more opening day of dove season at the Nooner Ranch with Wade Middleton. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you know, when I'm out here, I'm thinking every time I pull the trigger, there's another slab of bacon, there's some cream cheese and some jalapeno going on the grill. Wade's recipe for cooking dove is simple and tasty. It's good on the grill, but even better when cooked in the Bradley smoker. Enjoy. Oh, it's always fun to wrap up a good limit. You know, I look forward to this day as I say many, many times. Getting out here and knocking some doves down, whether it's morning doves or white wings. Each of them have their own characteristics. This was a Another good opening day hunt. We'll do some more as the year goes on. The Nooner Ranch is booking hunts. For more information, give them a call or look them up online. And don't forget to check out the Americana Outdoors Facebook page. We'd love to hear what you think about the show. And while you're there, give us a like and we'll put your name in the hat for our next gear giveaway. You can also look us up at AmericanaOutdoors.com. The site's loaded with industry news, great information, and our complete library of past shows. Give it a look. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.